Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Rocket Vulcan 122 AMO. This is an unboxing video and an overview of a fantastic looking gaming keyboard. Now this is an updated version of the Rocket Vulcan 120 gaming keyboard that I unboxed and gave an overview of previously, and I'll link to that in the description. And that keyboard I thought at the time was one of the best keyboards that I've ever seen from Rocket and I've seen a number of different ones but it was a premium design, really high quality build, excellent features, fantastic looking bit of kit and the 122 AMO is exactly the same from my point of view in that it is also a fantastic looking keyboard. Now this one is in white and I was really excited to get my hands on this because it looks amazing from the pictures I've seen online and I'm happy to report that it looks just as good in the flesh as you're about to see with this unboxing video and as you saw at the beginning it is fantastically well designed, really well built, really good looking and it's also a pleasure to use. Now if you stick with me I'm going to show you the highlights of this keyboard as well as to show you what it sounds like at the end of the video so stick with me to see that and to get an overview of what it's like to use and a look at the software because this is compatible with Rockat Swarm software which helps you program macros, remap keys, make use of the easy shift functionality, change the lighting and a lot of other things. Now, talking about the keyboard itself, this comes with Rockat's Titan switches which have a 1.8mm actuation point and they're like brown tactile switches so it's kind of clicky, comfortable to use during the day, great for gaming, really responsive. The company says that the Vulcan 122 registers commands 20% faster than industry standard. Now what this means is a really light touch is all that's required to register your key presses and that is really cool. It's also very responsive and accurate during gaming sessions. I really enjoyed using it both throughout the day for working because I do a lot of typing during the day and into the gaming as well. Now it comes with an ergonomic wrist rest as you saw. Uh, not as comfortable as other wrist rests I've seen. It is plastic. It's not as nice as for example the Corsairs or uh, Steel series that I've seen recently. However, it is still comfortable to rest your wrists on and it does look snazzy. Do wonder how this is going to hold up over time. So far couple of weeks I've not managed to get it dirty apart from random hairs and bits of fluff and you'd think a white keyboard white keys and a white wrist rest would get dirty quite easily but it hasn't done and I do eat while I'm gaming sometimes so and I have a dog who rested his face on it the other day which is ridiculous the underside has a lot of rubberized feet to it as you can see including the ability to adjust the height of it it's quite a low profile keyboard though as you'll see and it sits quite low on the desk and doesn't stand out in that way but it does in a lot of other ways the lighting is really bright and it has these keys on it that are dust proof and have shortened keycaps well, they say make it easier to clean. Actually what that also does, as you can see here, is sort of raises them up so the housing underneath is a lot more visible. And I'll give you a close-up view of that in a minute. Here you can see the wrist rest going on. It just clicks into place with the little etching on the inside of the keyboard and it's really easy to put in. There's no attachment as such, so it will come away, I suppose, if you lift it up, but it won't snap off or break, which is a bonus. Inside the box you also get the Rockat stickers and a quick setup guide. But basically this is a plug and play keyboard, plug it in, you can download the Rockat Swarm software but it will work without it. Now as default it uses Rockat's AMO lighting which is an organic and intelligent lighting system which I'll show you off a bit later on. It's really cool especially if you've got other Rockat products because they combine with one another to just create a really awesome look and feel. Now if you're looking for an RGB keyboard I thought this with the previous Vulcan 120. If you want an RGB keyboard that's fantastic, then this is actually a really good one. I really thought highly of the SteelSeries Apex Pro gaming keyboard that I used recently, for that had 
really excellent lighting capabilities in a number of different ways, including things you could do base layers and put colors on top of and make it reactive. Now, Rockats isn't quite as fancy as that, although it is per key illumination, and I'll show you that a bit later on in the software. Um, but the organic AMO lighting is also fantastic because it has a sort of pattern to it that reacts to your fingers on the keyboard. So it has like a moving color functionality that spreads across the keyboard regularly. But when you start pressing keys, it also reacts to that as well and changes color or highlights certain keys and it looks amazing. Now, even when it's not even turned on, the Rocket Vulcan 122 looks fantastic in my mind it's quite hard to do a video of because it's so white and it's just picking up a lot of the lighting in the room and trying to get the camera settings right to be able to show off the lighting and also not be overexposed with those white keys is pretty difficult but now as you see the back plating is like an adenized aluminium back plate and it has a nice etching to it so it's got a really good quality and feel to it immediately feels nice to touch it was fantastic to look at rockout says the raised keycaps make it easier to clean and they will because you'll be able to blow compressed air in there really easily to get any dirt and dust out and obviously just tipping the keyboard upside down does the same i also really like the fact that you can see the housing for the switches and the led lighting that lot lets for a lot more light bleed than you see from other keyboards where the keycaps cover the entire thing so you get a lot more light from the edges it's brighter throughout the day and into the night it's really hard to put across in video but from a personal preference point of view it looks amazing and from my experience both with the 120 and with the 122 it looks really good on the desk and all day and night sometimes it might be too bright but you can turn the brightness down within the settings now in the top right hand side you have the volume control wheel, mic mute button, FX switch. There's also, if you look closely, you'll see macro keys, six programmable macro keys. Also worth noting that you can program extra settings for every key. You can remap the keys in the software as well. And I'll show you that a bit later on. Remap them for what they will do in game when you're playing games. And with the easy shift functionality where you can basically double up the key settings so you can change how each key responds when you're into a game, which is really nice. Very customizable. Now, for reference, this is the US layout of the keyboard, uh, which I find frustrating because it has a thin enter key, which gets on my nerves and <laughs> is very irritating. I'm used to a big, fat enter key. The RGB lighting you can see here a bit close up. Apologies for the random flicker I've got, trying to get the camera to not pick up the LED flicker. It's been a bit difficult. Um, but it looks amazing and you can see the rocket embossing on each of the keys as well so you can see the level of detail here the general feeling I have with this keyboard that I had with the 120 is that this is one of Rockat's most premium products usually Rockat do these cheap products that are fairly decent um, but won't blow your socks off the 120 and 122 are really high quality. They look fantastic. They feel great. They've got loads of different settings and there's a real attention to detail with the design and build of these things. It speaks of a premium product and it strikes you as soon as you get out of the box. And I can't sing the praises enough of this keyboard. It's really fantastic. It's one of my top favorite keyboards alongside the 120 and that's stacking it up against the SteelSeries Apex Pro, the Corsair K95 Platinum, and other keyboards I've tested recently that I really enjoyed. And this is definitely up there. As you can see, it also sounds fantastic. Stick with me to the end and check out the ASMR version of this video if you don't want to hear me waffling over the top and just want to hear these sounds and all the key presses and get an idea of what that's like without any nonsense. I might do a shorter video of that as well because I know people like to hear what the keyboard's going to be like when they're using it. It's not too obnoxious, sounds pretty great. Um, satisfying clicks. As I said, the actuation point is really shallow. So you only 1.8 millimeters, which in practice basically means a very light touch, a very light press on the keyboard. So if you're not heavy handed, which I am, you'll find that the keys activate really quickly and easily just as you need them to, which is obviously really important. Fantastic for gaming. 
and makes it a really responsive and easy to use keyboard. And you can see here some of the breathing effects from the lighting and how that works. Uh, this is one of the reactive modes, so you press a key and the whole keyboard reacts from that. You've probably seen that with other keyboards. Uh, it's quite a familiar sort of experience, but it looks great. Again, it's really hard to do it justice in video form, but it is really fantastic. Uh, a breathing mode and heartbeats. So you've got ones that are like pulses across the keyboard. There's a funky snake where it does like the old school snake game and it goes up and down the keyboard and across and all around. Uh, so there are a number of different settings within the RGB lighting that you can make use of and obviously customize it to your personal preference. One thing Rocket also does, which I'll show you, is put it in zones so you can do different colors for different zones on the keyboard. But you can do a per key illumination, which I really like doing because you can do the WASD keys in a different color from the rest of the keyboard, for example. Now, the finish is a close up finish for the keen eyed among you want to see the premium design of it. You can see a close up look here at the sort of etched aluminium backplating on it and it is just a really good quality some of the bits perhaps don't look as good quality like this volume wheel for example uh, after a bit of time might get worn out but initially it looks great and i suppose it depends how much you're going to use that i would i personally prefer to use the volume wheel on the headsets for example anyway so the switches you get a close-up of those in a second the keycaps are pretty difficult to get off which is not necessarily a bad thing. And then underneath you can see the switches close up of the housing. Again, apologies for the LED flicker. Really struggling to get the settings right to counter that. But you can see what that sounds like and what they look like underneath. And just how easy it will be to clean between the gaps, because it's quite large gaps. Some compressed air. Just soon sort that out. And again, another close-up of the finish. It's not easy to mark. It actually looks like I'm scratching it here, but it's actually just dirt and dust from my fingers. It's that intricate and well done. Now, obviously, one thing you probably aren't going to be able to do is replace these keys with other ones like double shot keycaps, for example, PBT ones. However, I don't think you'll want to because this design is really nice with the sort of thin keycap design. It looks fantastic. And here you can see and get a taste of what the keyboard is like. You can hear the key presses, but you can also see what I was talking about. So this is the AMO organic lighting. And you can see that you have different colors on the keyboard and they're changing ever so slightly. If you look at the numpad, for example, on the right hand side, you'll see it changing. It's like green and blue and yellow. And then it also reacts to every key press and each key press gives you a different color. And again, it reacts and it reacts slowly and it changes. And those changes also happen to the mouse. So I've got a mouse next to it and it's also changing there. Really like the design of this, it's fantastic. Now it's organic, you can find out more about that. I'll add a little link in the description to it and you can find out more within the software as well. Now the software itself is pretty basic. You have these some of these features that are kind of unnecessary, but you do have the ability to set four different profiles that you can easily switch between with a function key and the F1, 2, 3 and 4 buttons on the top of the keyboard. So you can obviously set up different profiles depending on what you're doing, whether you're looking to use it for gaming, for working, video editing like myself, or for different games perhaps. Maybe you like uh, different settings for FPS versus RPGs or MMOs or racing games, whatever you want to do. And you can set them up in there. Then you can also manage and access those profiles from within this software. I'll link to that software in the description as well, so you can see it if you've not seen it before. And you can also manage the macros from there. The general features for sound playback is kind of pointless, I feel. You can set it up so it makes click sounds and typewriter sounds when you're playing, which basically gets played back through your headset or your speakers and it's kind of annoying but you can see from the macros you can actually set to download and activate macros from different games that have already been set up and then you can put them in key assignment you can go across the entire keyboard select the keys and have different key presses you can remap them in game mode and you can also 
map the easy shift. Now the easy shift is a caps lock button and a press. You basically get two functions for each key. So in this example, looking at R, you can change the way R reacts and put a different action on it. So if you press the easy shift button and then you're pressing R when you're in the game, it does something else compared to just whatever R would do normally. Reload, for example, an FPS, and you can change it there and you can see you can access a range of different settings. And you can do that for most of the keys on the keyboard, change them to do what you want to. And as I said, you can obviously record custom macros as well. Now in the key illumination section, you'll see the AMO intelligent lighting. That's my favorite. You can get a taste of wave, which is basically similar to what you'd be used to. It's just different colors waving across the keyboard. You can adjust the speed and brightness of these. Although the highlight is probably just how bright the keyboard goes. And you can see snake and you can change that. You'll note within the colors, there's a theme. So it's themed and you can just pick specific colors of what it's going to be when it goes around the keyboard. So you might feel like it's only going to be set themes, only set colors that you can choose from. You can see the kind of gradients, so it'd be like red on one side, orange on the other, or dark green, light green. But you can actually pick more specific ones. You can see you can do it in zones. So the various sections on the keyboard, you can set up different colored zones, which is quite a nice touch. And on some of the modes, you'll see full custom, you can actually change on a key by key basis, different colors. And I'll show you that in a second. So it is a lot more customizable than it first looks. You might first think, oh, it's only, you can only do themes and you might not like that, but actually if you dive into the settings a bit more, you can set it up the way you want it. Now, if you want RGB lighting to be the best, I actually say, look at my Apex Pro video, because that keyboard is probably my favorite when it comes to RGB lighting, but this one's fantastic too. You can see you can dive in and pick specific keys. You can do that by clicking on the keys themselves, or you can do the zone selection. So here I've chosen WASD, made that red, the rest of the keyboards blue. You can then highlight the entire keyboard, deselect the keys you don't want to change the color on, and then pick from a color wheel and change a specific color there. So you change it to green in this instance. So you can see there's a lot of flexibility with the RGB lighting on it as well. Though, as I said, the reactive organic AMO one is still my favorite. All in all, my experiences of the Rockout Vulcan 122 have been as I was expecting them to be. This is a magnificent keyboard, really good quality. If you want something that looks fantastic on the desk, reacts really well for gaming, has a multitude of different settings, and cool features like the easy shift functionality, the ability to have two different keys set up, with one key press or two key presses uh, is a really fantastic addition actually. I really like that ability to do that and shift between them. Obviously you can program macros, you can reassign keys as well, different key presses, which is nice. And all in all, it's a fantastic bit of kit. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos as well as taking a look in the description for links and Enver information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.